Yo, yo, what up? It is Monday, October 28th, and this is going to be part two of the videos I'm making for The Serial Killer, which has been out for about three days now. Um, I just finished recording a, a discovery run of Whittleton Creek, just to re-familiarize myself with the map and also to, sh to sort of figure out where we think um, this picture is happening. Uh, you know, just because it can provide some insight as to where we'll be able to find this target. Uh, but let's go ahead and watch the video. Good morning, 47. Your target is the infamous serial killer known as the Censor. With a flair for the theatrical, the Censor acts as an examiner who grades his victims based on how much they struggle for their lives. The true identity of the Censor is unfortunately unknown, but the discovery of two recent victims indicates he's now exploring Whittleton Creek, Vermont, in search of prey. We only have a limited window of opportunity here, 47. Find the sensor and make sure he never grades anyone again. Best of luck. All right, so is he the serial killer or the sensor? Maybe he's both. Anyway, um, all right. We are going to look for someone who is male, Caucasian, and early to mid 50s. It's going to look like this. He's probably going to wear glasses, blue shirt. And I don't see, I couldn't actually find this place in the regular map when I was doing my discovery run. Probably just wasn't looking hard enough. But we're pretty confident based on this picture that he will be in. Uh, the what was it the Schmidt property the one that's on sale the one that's at the bottom right of the map so lock pick is an excellent thing to bring just because there are so many locked doors um, we are also gonna smuggle in some poison right so let me just go back and I don't want to have a disguise in the beginning so this is my only choice really you know what is there normally a sixth option let me just quickly check that. There is. BBQ party. So sometimes they will remove a starting location if it's like make is it if it's gonna make it too easy. So it looks like the party is probably going to be where he is. Either the party or the property that's on sale. But anyway, we're going to start um, at a certain corner. We are going to use the bench and bring lethal syringe. Because um, that's close to the starting location. Instead of coins, I actually want to just bring... Uh, like a wrench or something. Where is this? Not here. Handyman wrench. And pretty much good to go. Kinda just wanna put this on, because why not? Okay, so here we go. The plan is basically to first uh, scout out the Schmidt property, see if he's there. And if not, then we'll check out the party. Welcome to Vermont, 47. The sensor should be somewhere in Whittleton Creek, looking for a potential new victim. He will likely seek out places where people are gathered, so I suggest you look for crowded areas. Okay, let's have this active. I'm gonna run over to the bench and pick up my poison. Okay, and so we suspect that he's going to be here or here. Actually, let's go to the Wilson property first, uh, just because it's on the way, and maybe we can find the sensor more quickly that way. So uh, we know roughly what kind of haircut and features we're looking for.
unless that's changed. This might be the place, 47. A garden party would be the ideal location for the sensor to identify his next victim. Ironically, this is exactly what you should do as well. So, uh, this lady is now an enforcer, which she normally is not. I think that's him. Could it be him? That that dude right there, the glasses. He's got a blue shirt, glasses, and his hair is about the same. I'm gonna keep my eye on him for a little while, but I have to also dodge one of her faces. Okay, so there's a couple of possibilities here, which is the layman's possibility is he just stays here the, the whole time, and the goal is to just take out a guy stealthily in the middle of a party. That would be super lame. Um, what would be more interesting is if there's a way to get him to go down over to the other property. And he's walking away. Where did this dude go? Hmm. Either he's good or I'm bad. Alright, well. don't know where he just went but that's okay because I'm going to try to check out this place now Schmidt house In the right place. Oh shit, yeah. Okay. What's going on here? Alright, let's take it easy. Try to figure out what's going on here first. Um, yeah, these guys are not normally here. So we have two uh, Cassidy guards I'm just gonna check out their patrol routes real quick Looks like the one guy is always at the computer. Oh, 
Okay, so um, I feel pretty good about just going down here. This isn't exactly like the picture now that I think about it, because there was a green chair, but whatever. Yeah, it's possible that the picture was just a red herring. and not actually part of the level. And yet, why would they just put two guards here that weren't there before? Hmm. I'm just being super paranoid in case he changes his patrol route. I'm gonna check upstairs now. I don't think anyone's around. Um. <laughs> Trying to see if anything here has changed. So, so far everything looks normal up here. This place comes with a TV, which is nice. so funny that there's still blood all over the walls and shit. Okay, yeah, so... I don't know what the deal is with this house. Everything here looks the same except that there's no uh, handyman and there are the two uh, Cassidy guards. Maybe I have to see the other side of it, I don't know. normal. Alright, so back to this place, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and check out the, the basement here.
right. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, so coming upstairs now. I mean, this was always here, I think. I'm trying to see if there's anything different about this place. There should be clues as to who the uh, the killer is. Beyond just like, oh, well, look at his picture. I can see that he's glasses. I don't think. Uh, What's going on here? What's this all about? That looks suspicious. Hey there. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. I'm gonna keep following these guys. Oh my god. Look at these bags. Yeah, nice. I guess. You know I'm not really a bad guy. Let me explain it like this. If I had bags like these, happy night wouldn't just be a birthday event. What brand are those? Oh, you never mind that now, Pat. Susan Wilson said she worked for the government. No way is a government paycheck covering bags like these. Something's definitely sneaky with these people. You look at all these painting materials. Who is this guy anyway? Bob Ross? Bob Ross is a legend. You can't... But seriously, what's the deal with all this stuff? You don't think? Maybe that's how they're making all their money. Art? Nobody ever got rich by cashing in on their fine arts degree, Al. You know that. Unless they create forgeries. I saw a documentary about Chinese forgery factories. They were literally spitting out fakes left and right, made millions. And this, this sort of looks like Pollock's number five, doesn't it? No, Al. No, it doesn't. Let's move on. Huh. So this must be where Richard Wilson... Yeah, I'm starting to think this is just nothing. Alright. Condescendingly telling strangers what to do. Hey, you never know when you'll run into some psychopath and piss him off. Oh, you're definitely right about that. Good. I'm glad we agree. It's not cool to go around judging strangers. I would never judge, I only grade. So hey, that's clearly him. Nothing. You should keep an eye on this one, 47. I think we have our guy. How are you, sir? Alright, let me just see if I can actually close out the garage. Because this might make a good spot to. Uh,
trying to see if the, if people can like willingly walk in and out and open the door. Yep. Sadly, they can. Okay, someone rang the doorbell. Politician. How you been? What's your take on these Wilson people? They seem very nice. My thinking exactly. They're perfect. Okay, so here's a good chance to just walk through the garden. Alright, here's a fact for you. If you pass gas, it's just it's not this guy. Here it is. It's starting to look like I have to just take him out in the garage. Candidates on my list, so I can't promise anything. I'll get back to you. Okay, so let's try to make some progress here. This guy keeps coming in and out, and so does this guy, but I think it's only been them two. Fit two of them in here, and then syringe the last guy. That was another another faker. Okay, so uh, I'll take him out. I'll take out the other guy on the next run, and then I'll try to lure the target in here. Maybe it might be really difficult, actually, but it's a start. It's a plan. All right, here we go. Jane is. Sorry, I have to check this out. No, it's not Janus. Looked like he was kind of hunched over. I now have this garage secured. 
um, generator. But there are a couple other people in my way. So at some point, the sensor was talking to him here. Which gives me an opportunity, perhaps. I could just knock this guy out, but then maybe the sensor won't come here anymore, so I do want to just play it safe and just wait for the sensor to come back here first. Speaking of which, let's try to find him again. There he is. He's coming back this way. He's drinking something. So, looks like a pretty easy poison kill. Well, maybe. But you have to admit, there is something slightly off over there. I mean, we're getting carried. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh. This other guy went for it. I could just hide his body like behind the car or something, but then then I have to count on nobody ever coming in here. Alternatively, I could poison this. But I would need to have a server's outfit, which should be possible because we know that there's a guy up here. Oh, but he's not up here anymore. Hmm. That's right. Right, which is why they disabled the server starting location because that would make it way too easy. You could just start with the server's outfit. And you'd already be here as well at the party. Okay, so they're making it harder for you to obtain a server's disguise, but that's alright, because we can probably just go to the west property, get a server's outfit, and pick up some lethal poison pills while we're there. So that's going to be our next plan, if we're trying to play it safe. Um, otherwise... It's between that or I knock out the other dude, hide him in the garage, and then try to get the sensor into the garage as well. Um, well, we don't have to commit just yet. We can just come here anyway and just try to break into our house. So let's go ahead and do that. I believe there's lethal pills around here somewhere. If not, we can always just use the rat poison that we picked up earlier. Maybe drown the guy or something. Who the heck is that? Let's try to take out this dude with the fish thing and then where should we throw him?
Okay, here he comes. Okay, now some random ass gardener, fake gardener, is coming here as well. And that crazy woman, Helen, is coming in here as well. Let's take them all out. Okay, so should be safe now, I believe. Steal her gun, because why not? And then, just to be super paranoid, let's hide their bodies. Alright, bodies are hidden. Uh, Alright, let's check for... I want to say that there's like lethal pills in here, but... Could be wrong. Maybe they removed it for this elusive target, because that would be too easy. Or, there it is. I just didn't check for it. Okay. Um, now let's hopefully make sure that I'm allowed to even poison stuff, because I don't want to assume. Oh. Wrong place. Okay, let's go out this way. I'm going to be careful of spotters. Workers basically. And we are going to go back to this party. Ah, right. How's it going? 
Everyone's a spotter. If I can clear this place out, then this wouldn't be a problem. Very clever. Very clever. Okay. Um, how can I clear them out? I can maybe, like, cause a commotion or something? I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So... Car bomb. Why don't we pick up the car bomb that was in the tunnel between the, the Griswold property and the Janus property? This is ending up being a lot more complicated uh, than <laughs> I thought, which is actually really interesting. But if we do this whole car bomb thing, it's entirely possible we didn't need to be in a vendor disguise in the first place because if everyone panics and runs everywhere, then it might not even matter. Uh, probably wouldn't have been seen poisoning the damn thing anyway, so. Hmm. Was it. Was Griswold, right? Awesome. Yeah, Griswold. Okay, so we just need to get into the basement. Or the garage, right? So, no one's really looking. Lock pick was definitely the right choice. So now I have the car bomb, and I'm going to, let's say, use the garage, and just blow shit up. And then, I'm not sure what my next plan is, hmm, because it really depends on how people run. So why don't we do it like this? Why don't we open the garage door? Let's leave the bomb like here. And we'll detonate it here. And then see if we can just like run into the garage. Those two guys are not running. Oh, they're not running. Wow, not much panic over there, huh? That's so funny. No one cares. Yeah. Okay, so it's starting to look like the poison idea might not work. Unless I can knock out both of these guys.
Oh, not to mention these two exploring people are liable to come in and see what's in the garage. Okay. I'm gonna get my outfit back. I'm gonna get my outfit back and then I have no choice but to try to take out. Uh, so I'll wait upstairs until the couple is isolated. I'll take them out. Then I'm going to go into the garage and then take out the server. And then take out the other guy who's like leaning. And then. Uh, I will take out, um, uh, I'll, maybe I'll swap into the server's uniform, and then poison the glass or something. Yeah, very complicated, sadly. But we've already exhausted all the uh, simpler possibilities, so... Still, I gotta say, this has been pretty... amusing. <laughs> So we're going to have to wait until they're up here. And then we'll have closet space somewhere here. Where's their closet space? Come on. There's the couple. Closet space. Okay, good. So... Might be kind of annoying actually. Messing around. Father? Sure. Yeah. And of course I was seen at the worst possible angle, so. I will just restart this mission. Oh, I'm not supposed to do it with restarts, but oh, I'm just pissed off. Seen for the Welcome dumbest reason. To Vermont, 47. The sensor should be somewhere in Whittleton Creek, looking for a potential new victim. He will likely seek out places where people are gathered, so I suggest you look for crowded areas. Oh, man, that was disappointing. Okay, well. This might be the place, 47. A garden party would be the ideal location for the sensor to identify his next victim. Ironically, this is exactly what you should do as well. Check that out, would you? No problem. 
All right, so I guess the first thing we'll do is take him out, and then we should take out the other guy who comes here. Oh, but then this couple comes here. Hmm. Hey there, big guy. So was his line. I thought it was saying that line when when these two were talking upstairs. It makes no sense to me. When they first came here, the Chardonnay was a little too crisp. The hors d'oeuvre, like the I want to take this guy out, but I don't know if these two are going to like enter the garage at the worst possible moment, so I'm just going to wait. Go upstairs here and then prepare to take these two people out. Sour about this. So sour about this one one angle right here. So sour. Okay, so anyway, the closets are going to be... Not here, not here. The closet's going to be in this room. So let's uh, let's move their bodies this way.
Alright, now I'm pretty sure that the garage is secure. But then again, you never know. Um, why don't I go back to the west property, actually? And, nah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't need to do that. Okay. as long as I remember not to open this door. Otherwise, the whole world will see this guy's body. Oh, I have an opportunity right now. Actually, I should not have dragged him because apparently, even if the person's poisoned and you drag, that it's uh, it could ruin it could ruin your your rating now. So I'll just put these two guys in the same spot because you know if they find the one, they find the others so and whatever. But yeah, it looks like that's pretty much just the simplest way to do it. I guess you could also try poisoning the whiskey, I don't know. Anyway, interesting run, I guess. Congratulations to Six, who did it in 28 seconds. Nice. I will see you guys next time.